everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's castle so for today's video what we are doing my Disney and California adventure favorites so I did a part one to this where it was all Disneyland favorites my favorite rides favorite foods just like everything Disneyland related and now what we are doing my California adventures favorites so if you guys are interested make sure you guys give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and let's get started if you like today's video maybe a little bit shorter because California Adventures is a smaller park and I also haven't gone to California Adventures as many times as I've gone to Disneyland so I feel like I have less experience there and I've tried less things but for the most part I know what I'm talking about. We're gonna start with my favorite rides and I was able to pick out 10. There are no particular order except for my number one favorite which is Guardians of the Galaxy. It was originally the Hollywood Tower of Terror which if you are a Disney World girly, then you are probably familiar with that ride. They did re-theme it to Guardians of the Galaxy and I honestly think it's so much fun. I really love the original, but I'm definitely not disappointed with the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think the music's so upbeat that like you kind of forget that like you're doing all of these drops up and down. So if you guys aren't roller coaster girlies and you don't, don't like that feeling of like your stomach leaving your body, then you probably would hate this ride, but I personally love roller coasters and I love this ride and I think it's so fun. The next ride that's also at the top of the list is Incredicoaster. It's another really big roller coaster. This one is so fun and probably like the best roller coaster I feel like that Disney has in general. I absolutely love this ride and they did retheme it. Offering Adventure in general just kind of went through a whole retheming if you guys have kind of caught up on the history of California Adventures. It's definitely a ride that was rethemed, and I think it was rethemed for the better. I love the Incredibles aspect to it. It's just so fun, and I love it. The next ride that we have is Little Mermaid, and I love the Little Mermaid ride. I'm not sure what the official Little Mermaid name is for this ride, but it is so good. Ariel is one of my favorite princesses, so I'm really happy that she has a ride. You like sit like in a little seashell, and it's kind of like one of those storybook rides. I think it's so fun, and the music's so up upbeat, and the wait time's always like five minutes long, so it's definitely a great ride to get on. The next ride that I also really love is Soren. I'm personally a huge fan of Soren over the world. I feel like that's really controversial because a lot of people really love Soren over California and I remember going on Soren over California a couple years ago and I don't know I just thought it wasn't that special. I just feel like California is just not that exciting. I feel like seeing different parts of the world is more exciting than just different parts of California. I don't know maybe because I live here that I'm not like super amazed by anything, but I love seeing like different parts of the or different parts of the world that I've never traveled to. I don't know. I think it's such a fun experience. You basically just like sit in a chair and you get lifted up and there's like a huge screen. Like it feels kind of like a dome kind of theater if you've been in one of those. You feel like you're literally flying over the entire world and I think it's so good and they add like sense to it. it really feels like you're actually there and I just I absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. And I don't know, let me know if your team is soaring over California or if your team is soaring over the world. Next ride that we have is Radiator Racers and this ride is the longest ride ever, okay? Right now, currently Radiator Racers, I think it's called Radiator Racers or Radiator Springs Racers, I don't know, it's like the Cars Lightning McQueen ride. This ride and Web Slingers are like the longest lines ever. I'm not sure if Web Slingers is still long, but when I went in December, the line for both those rides were definitely like over 75 minutes. I don't think Web Slingers is worth it. I would skip over that ride, but Radiator Racers is so, so good, you guys. It is definitely worth the wait. If you are able to get the Genie Plus thing, I would recommend just for this ride because the line is so long all the time and it's just such a good ride. Like, you have to do it at least once. The entire Cars Land area is just top tier. Like, they really did that when it came to the theming of everything it's just so perfect in every way and that ride is so good it's not a roller coaster it's really really fun you can take your whole family on it i think it's great definitely recommend that's like one of the best rides next ride that i really love is midway mania i talked about astro blasters in the disneyland version of this and i personally think midway mania is better than astro blasters 
maybe controversial as well but i love midway mania you basically have like these glasses on and you everything is like through a screen which is really cool and you kind of just like compete with the person next to you and you guys like are playing like arcade games i don't know it's really not arcade games like carnival games and you're playing against each other it is so fun and when my boyfriend and i go on it we're so competitive about everything that we do but especially this ride we just have so much fun on it so definitely recommend doing midway mania if you haven't done it this is another ride that has like a really long wait time so if you are able to get fast passes i would definitely recommend next ride that we have is the monsters inc ride which again i don't even know the official name of this but it's kind of one of those like storybook rides i personally really like it i mean it's not like my favorite ride ever i also am just not super attached to monsters inc but i do really enjoy this ride i think it's a fun one so i would recommend doing it another like family fun kind of ride that everyone is able to do next ride that we have is goofy sky school which i feel like a lot of people hate this ride because it can be really scary but i really love goofy sky school the kind of concept of this ride is very like common within regular theme parks i know that we have it kind of like in a theme park near me it's like really like jerky and like i don't know it can feel kind of scary there's not really that many drops it's just like really sharp like turns kind of. I don't really know what else to say about it, but I think it's fun. <laughs> Next ride is the Luigi's ride. I was trying to remember what the name of it is and I didn't feel like looking it up, but there's a Luigi's ride in Cars Land and it is so cute, you guys. All the cars are basically like dancing and the lights turn on underneath. So I think I would, I would recommend doing this ride at night because it's so fun to like dance underneath the stars. It's kind of romantic. You have like the lights under or the, the twinkling lights to kind of dance under and there's like music playing. I think they do different songs each time, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I honestly haven't really paid attention every time that I've gone on it. And the cars just kind of dance together and I think it's really, really cute. I think it's a fun concept. It's also another family ride that's not like super crazy, but I think it's a really cute ride and I definitely recommend that one. And the last ride in my top 10 California Adventure rides is Silly Symphony or like the swings, basically just swings and i go around and i have so much fun on the swing rides another kind of basic ride that you could find like at any theme park but this one is better because it's disney music that you're swinging to i don't know i think it's really really fun and it's exciting i kind of just like to feel like i'm flying a little bit so that's a vibe. Another like optional ride that I had was the River Rapids, which I think they should like retheme that to like, I don't know, make it more Disney theme, like maybe Merida because Merida or like Brave is like Pixar and it's called Grizzly River Rapids. Like you could retheme it to like the different bears in Brave, you know, like her brothers. I don't know. I just feel like they could like retheme it and make it like Merida themed. I'm not sure if like, or Brother Bear. If you guys recall that movie, no one really talks about that movie, but it's so good. But if it is really hot when you go, like if you're going this summer, you definitely have to go on this ride. This ride will leave you like drenched, like literally soaking wet. And it feels so great when it's so hot outside. So I definitely recommend doing that. I made it an optional because I don't like doing this ride when it's winter time, obviously. And I, honestly, I feel like it's closed most of the time in the winter. I definitely recommend doing it in the summertime because it feels great. So those are all of my favorite California adventure rides. Now let's get into some other attractions that we have. I don't know if attraction is the right word, but just like other things that you can do that aren't necessarily rides at the parks, you know what I mean? So we're gonna start with Art of Animation, which is inside of this like huge building. I don't really know how to explain it. This whole entire building is so nice to go into when it's really hot if you need a break you can find like an outlet to charge your phone you like to take naps in there like it is such a great place to like relax especially like in the heat or when it's raining and you're trying to escape the rain which i've done before i will go inside of this entire building but inside the building there's like different things that you can kind of do which is really exciting the first thing is art of animation and you basically just kind of go in to like a classroom environment and a piece of paper and a pencil and 
there's an animator that is teaching the class and he teaches you how to draw certain characters like I know one time I did piglet and you just learn how to draw piglet and I think it's so cute it's really fun to see like if yours comes out pretty good I feel like for the most part I've been done a pretty good job the proportions may be a little off but you know like it works I really recommend doing that and also if you like need a breather and just you know it's like a hot day you've been park hopping all day go take a break in art of animation take a little class you get to take the picture home I think it's really cute and it's a fun thing to do like with your family or whoever you're with the other thing that I would recommend in that building is turtle talks with crush I think that is so funny and so underrated because I feel like no one ever talks about this ride or I guess not a ride like this experience I guess there's basically a screen of crush from finding Nemo and he's talking to the audience audience members are able to like ask him questions and his responses are always is so funny you guys so if you need a good laugh I would recommend doing it turtle talks with crush another really exciting thing that is inside this building is if you go kind of like towards the back go like down the ramp there is a secret library which is the Beauty and the Beast library not a lot of people know about it, it is really fun to go through it and there's not too much that you can do while you're in there there's different like things that you can like I don't know like touch I guess and like like little videos you can watch I don't know it's really fun it's kind of interactive kind of experience you get to walk through the Beast library and it's I don't know it's really fun to kind of feel like you're in the movie for a second so I definitely recommend doing that as well just that entire building is great when you just need to relax um, after all the rides and eating that you've been doing all day. The other thing that I really, really love, but it's currently closed, is the Hyperion Theater. They usually have a Frozen show, which I love the Frozen show. I know before Frozen, it was Aladdin. I only remember watching Aladdin one time, and I did love it. But Frozen, I've seen a couple times, and I loved this show. It was so nice, especially once again one of those things that you can do to escape the rain escape the hot weather they are live performers and it's great they do such a great job every single time i'm interested to see what they are going to be doing moving forward let me know what you guys think do you think they're gonna do frozen again i was hoping maybe frozen 2 or like Encanto. that'd be really exciting so let me know what you guys think they'll be doing when they reopen but i personally love it so when they reopen i would highly recommend doing that the last thing that is um, a fun thing to do at California Adventures is watching World of Color which is the night show personally I'm more of a Fantasmic fan at Disneyland but if I'm at California Adventures all day then I will watch World of, World of Color it's really fun it's kind of just like a lights and water kind of show and you get to see like different characters on screen and actually for Christmas they did such a cute one I'm not sure if it's called World of Color during Christmas time but they had like such a cute show and I loved it so yeah I definitely recommend watching that a great way to end your night California Adventures doesn't do fireworks but they do that show at the end which I think is so so fun now let's talk about food for food I feel like I'm gonna let you down because I don't have that many options to give you because I kind of just like I just kind of stick to what I know and what I like and it's very rare that I'll try like a bunch of new things and I also don't really go to California Adventures very often that I'm able to try a lot of new things the first thing is Lamplight Lounge and this is just the restaurant in general because the food, every food item that I've tried at Lamplight Lounge has been good. So I feel like you have so many options if you want a dining experience and if you just need like good meals. Lamplight Lounge is the place to go. You do have to make a reservation. Sometimes it's difficult to do walk up. So I would recommend making a reservation ahead of time. The the food items that I've tried are the salmon PLT, which is like a sandwich that has salmon in it. It was so good. I had it one time, but I loved it and I would love to have it again. The other thing I've tried was the lobster nachos. The only complaint I had about the lobster nachos was that there wasn't enough lobster, but it was still good. So I love that. We also had the potato, I think it was called potato skins. You guys, that was like my favorite thing that I had. It was so good. They have like these chocolate donuts, which I think that was only a holiday special, but those are really good. Like they have great desserts, great meals, fun drinks that you can try. Like I tried this really cool like fizzy drink one time if you guys watch the vlogs, which was 
so good like everything there is good i haven't had anything that was bad granted i've only gone like two or three times but everything that i've had has been good so i just recommend lamplight lounge in general the entire experience is amazing you get like a really cute view of the water and of incredicoaster and the what's the windmill not a windmill what's it called uh merry-go-round no Ferris wheel. Next thing that I recommend is Cozy Cone, which is in Marsland area. I really like their ice cream. I like the vanilla chocolate swirl. It's like really basic, but it's so good and they give you so much. It's really good. And I know they have like a bunch of other things there too that I've been really wanting to try, like the mac and cheese. Definitely wanted to try that. So yeah, and I've heard good things about it. So I recommend going to Cozy Cone for like different snacks that you want. The next thing that we have is the Quesabiria Taco that are so so good you guys they give you two which not enough but it's good when you're like eating a bunch of things all throughout the day you don't need like a big heavy meal it's so good like you have to have them the next thing that we have is smoothie schmoozies which is like a smoothie kind of spot they also have like crazier like little desserts that you can try every time we've gone we've just gotten like little smoothies and they've been great something refreshing for the hot summer days definitely recommend that last thing that we have is the clam chowder from fisherman's wharf i love this clam chowder especially in the winter time so not summer it's way too hot to be eating soup in my opinion i do really like the clam chowder in the bread bowl so good it keeps you so warm when it's cold the other things that california adventures has is they do like a lot of festivals so like the food and wine festival is held at california adventures or like the lunar new year festival where you get to try a bunch of different foods i haven't personally done any of those but i've heard great things about them so if you're there during those times then you can try different foods that way and of course a churro like a churro is just classic they also have pickles there but for some reason i never really get pickles when i'm at california adventures it's more of a disneyland thing for me but they do have pickles and they do have churros and they're great that is basically it for today's video i want to know what your favorite things at california adventures is make sure you guys leave them in the comments below make sure you guys like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys